وحسن ما صلاة القيام أثابكم الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضال مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما أحمل للناس الهدى وكما عشت سأبقى مسلما مسلما أحمل للناس الناس الهدى وكما عشت سابقا مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني مسلما وشاءني الله لإسعاد الوجود الوجود همتي لا ليس تدري ما الحدود الحدود شاءني الله لإسعاد مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما أحمل للناس الهدى وكما عشت سابقا مسلما مسلما أحمل الناس الهدى وكما عشت سابقا مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني مسلما وشاءني الله لإسعاد الوجود الوجود همتي لا ليس تدري ما الحدود الحدود شاءني الله لي مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما كنت وأبقى مسلما تشهد الأرض بهذا والسما مسلما أحمل للناس الهدى وكما عشت سابقا مسلما مسلما أحمل للناس الهدى وكما عشت سابقا مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني مسلما فاجعل اللهم مني السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Nasty TV Africa We manifest Africa Greatness My name is Mariam Abdurrahman and today we are at Alhamdulillah Mosque Lloyd Kora State We are here to meet our Muslim brothers and sisters about Ramadan and last 10 days of Ramadan Stay tuned, we'll be right back Assalamu alaikum sir, please can we meet you? Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We thank you, my name is Alaj Musa Abdullah Okay, nice meeting you sir What is your advice for Muslim brothers and sisters on this holy month of Ramadan and the last 10 days of Ramadan? We thank you almighty Allah for sparing our lives and for guiding our steps to witness the beginning of the Ramadan season and for meeting the middle of the Ramadan season and we we are we are we are we are, we are, we are asking God to guide us to see the end of Ramadan season. My advice to the entire Muslim women across the globe is that they should continue to intensify effort in prayer. They should always guide against what the Almighty Allah wants us to abide by. 
during the month of Ramadan. But even after the month of Ramadan, we should always continue to act in accordance with the injunction of Islamic. Thank you very much, sir. Have a lovely day. Ramadan Karim, sir. Please come and meet you. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Hamid Allawi. What advice do you have for Muslim brothers and sisters on this month of Ramadan and last 10 days of Ramadan? Now, alhamdulillah, to Allah for allowing us to be available for this um, Ramadan. Last year we prayed that Allah keep us until the next Ramadan. We alhamdulillah that Allah kept us and uh, we are here today. Um, I just enjoy my Muslim brothers and sisters to be steadfast, to keep um, whatever they are doing in Ramadan till after Ramadan. Ramadan is expected to bring us together as Muslims, for us Muslims uh, who can feed themselves to be able to feel the the pains of people that can't feed themselves when there is no fasting. So now that we are fasting, we're able to feel it, how the poor people feel it, then we're able to put forward whatever I can give to them to encourage them and um, to make them live on. Then for these last 10 days, uh, we are ensuring to be steadfast, like I said, and um, to put more effort. Last 10 nights, most especially, is um, the best 10 nights in the entire year. So all Muslims should make effort to be steadfast, do your best, put more effort to what you've been doing before, and do more. The Prophet encourage us to ask for forgiveness, and um, may Allah forgive us all, and um, encourage us to be better Muslims, I mean. Please come with me, sir. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Honorable Justice Ahmed Belgore, retired presiding justice of the Court of Appeal of Nigeria. Please meet you, sir. Sir, what advice do you have for Muslim brothers and sisters this holy month of Ramadan and the last 10 days of Ramadan? The only month of Ramadan is a month of blessing from Almighty Allah where Muslims are expected to be kind, not only to Muslims, but to humanity in general. The last 10 days of Ramadan, uh, 10 special days, mentioned in the Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wal Fajr, Allah swore by the dawn and the ten days. Those ten days are the ten last ten days of Ramadan or the ten days of Arava. Allah expected us to be kind during this day. To pay the cut if we have the means, to be kind in giving sadaqa if we have the means, and to be kind generally to humanity, and to do all sorts of prayers that we get us closer to Him during this holy month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Nasir Abdukadir from Nas TV Africa. And we're here to cover the Jumat, the second Jumat to the end of Ramadan. Uh, sir, please, can we just meet you briefly? We want to view us who we're talking to. Uh, my name is Alaaji Imam Mustafa Fimba. Uh, the Chief Imam Alhamdulillah Central Mosque, Flower Garden, GRU, Eloni here. Inshallah. So, okay, basically what we want to ask is about advice for Muslims during this hardship, uh, during this economic downturn, and uh, during the trial of Nigeria, the lesson from Ramadan, and how we can use this period to appeal to Almighty Allah to give us uh, tranquility and peace of mind. Then the last day of Ramadan, so I can combine the two. Uh, surely there is no doubt. Everybody knows that the, the country generally, it has, so, it has some challenges before the Resumptions of Ramadan. These challenges, when Ramadan comes, Ramadan on its own, he has taught us a lot of lessons in which self-restraint from so many things, from all things that is good, 
if at all you have it, you cannot go there and take it. It makes you that you are devoted to Allah. That's willingness you have taken. That's hardship you are unable to resist during Ramadan. Keep it up. Not that you have hardship, but it makes you to survive and for, for the, and for, uh, look forward for that for the better development. That is one. And secondly, Ramadan on its own is it, it is even a lesson, not for a Muslim, for the entire world, because this is what happened. What is the going on throughout the world, and in which every individual sees the lesson that is teaching us. However, you ask about the the last end of Ramadan, the last ten days of Ramadan. This the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, in this statement, he said, we know Muhammad to be a well dedicated in the way of Allah. But yet, he said, during Ramadan, I'm more, I, I am more dedicated to the will of Allah in my activities. Even especially the last 10 days of Ramadan, in which people agitate, anxious, to go indoor to the mosque, to do etikaf. If you are reciting Quran, make sure you are increased. In your nawafil, make sure you are increased. In doing good, make sure you, you, know, you, are, uh, you are increasing it. And if, if you are entitled to give out zakat, make sure you do it as stipulated in the Holy Quran. Make sure anything you have been doing in Ramadan, during this last 10, please, for Allah's sake, let us try to increase it. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us abundantly, inshallah. Inshallah. akram. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please come with me to. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Barrister A.S. Abdullahi Jimba. Nice meeting you, sir. It's a pleasure. Please, what advice do you have for Muslim brothers and sisters on this month of Ramadan and last 10 days of Ramadan? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. As regards to the early months that we are observing presently, uh, actually, since the commencement of this Ramadan, uh, the lesson in this Ramadan is to the fact that every and every an individual in the society is expected to be of good behavior and uh, to be so much pious to Almighty Allah. And uh, in as much as uh, when the holy months, we are expected to do good to one another. And uh, on the last day of the Ramadan, which which was revealed to Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that. That last, last, the last, is between that last ten days that the uh, Quran was no review to all, to mankind. I uh, would be expected to observe probably double our effort as regards to the way and manner we are going to be giving to Ramadan, especially probably in terms of dua. And uh, we are expected, and if is expected to probably uh, stay back at home and at least probably you know stay stay stay. Uh, be steady fast and pray to Almighty Allah so that at least whatever we are looking up to and we pray to Almighty God and God will answer our prayer. We have come to the end of today's show. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye bye. We also use this medium to appreciate our sponsors for supporting this daily Ramadan lecture program. May Allah accept it from you as an act of provider. Follow, watch, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nastiv Africa, Facebook at Nastiv Africa, Instagram at Nastiv Africa, and TikTok at Nastiv Business Coach or Nastiv